Right folks, very good morning. Now, the day started off with a bit of a disaster. Um, I forgot my phone, so we've been out on the road already about five minutes. Luckily, we were just five minutes down the road um, when I discovered that I hadn't got the phone. So anyway, we're in Bro's new Spiz, the Bromobile, the Solo Bromobile. Yes. It's a new car. Solo Mobile. Solo Mobile. Anyway, yes, it's a new car. So, oh, there's the rain on, bro. Oh, oh. So we're just going on a little mini tour of our local area today, I think. I'm not going to go too far today, because it's meant to be pretty uh, horrific weather. Right, folks, now the first stop off today is quite an interesting historical one. We're here at Christian Road, uh, Margaret Crescent and Christian Road. And this is quite a, a steep little road, but the importance about this, the historical importance is that this is actually the official border between Dundee and Brotty Ferry. So the buildings on this side, going towards the west side, the west side are uh, officially Dundee, whereas on this side here now, they are um, a Brotty Ferry. So this, the, the actual middle of this road, the, the actual middle is the dissection point. So like I'm in, I'm in Dundee, I'm in Brotty Ferry. I'm in Dundee, I'm in Brotty Ferry, folks. So this is, the uh, Christ Christian Road is called. I don't know why they call it Christian Road. I thought they could have called it a Border Road or something. You would have thought, wouldn't you? So there it is, folks. And uh, Margaret Crescent is the uh, the other one that comes all the way around, and it goes straight down there. And this is it. So the first historical find of the day, folks. The Border Point. I thought they would have bro when I said that it was the official border. Bro actually thought they were going to have Alsatians and and the the red and white. Uh, thing that comes oh, down the gate. <laughs> gate he was like i'm scared there's gonna be dogs there anyway right we always having to repark the car you made such a mess of it look it's pathetic it's so pathetic this is bro with his new um reversing cam thing and he still makes a mess of it. It's a disaster. I don't know. <laughs> right folks, here we are now. It's St. I think it's pronounced St. Rogue, St. Roke's Lane. It's named after the patron saint St. Roke. The patron saint of, I'm not quite sure. But um, what they used to do, folks, they would have a harbour patrol here back in the, the, the medieval days, back in the bubonic plague days, where they would watch out for uh, for ships coming in uh, from the from the uh, the continent there, coming in onto the Firth of the Tay, and they would watch out for them. And uh, if they suspected there was like plague victims on the on the ship, they would go down and uh, they would quarantine the ship, and it would be kept in the little harbour bit that was. Uh, just sort of down here but uh, that was back in the medieval days folks so St Rogue's place or St Rogue's Lane here it is as you can see it's quite hilly and back in the day none of all these uh, buildings would have been there so they would have had a perfect view right down there onto the Tay fantastic so that's our second little historical kind of stop of the day Blue plaque to Mary Slessor and uh, some information there about Mary Slessor. Sure it was just telling me that back in the day there used to be uh, a, a pub. Was it two pubs? No, a pub and a church. Was it a pub and a church, bro? Yeah, the Wishit Church was above and the pub right, was below. Right, yeah. the Wishit Church was above and the pub was blown. It's called Heaven and Hell. So we had Heaven yeah. and Hell. Uh, it actually just says Wishit Church there, so that would have been the church, I'm assuming and the pub would have been on the bottom. Great stuff. Now we're actually going into uh, Marks and Spencers here because this Marks and Spencers used to be uh, Borders, the bookshop, and it plays a, an essential part in the history of Spiz because it was in one of these aisles that uh, Bro and I first found a book by Anne Lindsay. It's called, I can't remember its title. Strange but Places in Scotland? Uh, it wasn't called, it was called places. Unusual Places yes. in Scotland. And it gave me the idea for Strange Places in Scotland. So. I was looking through the book and I came across Danino Day and I thought, whoa, 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 whoa. So we're going to... Right, folks, so would it just been round here? Would it just been sort of in here? Would it, would you think... No, you think it would have been further up? Right, okay. Right, well, we think it would have just been sort of round about here where the books for historic local interest would have been just right here. So this is it, folks. Just right here. The very, the very start of Spizzle was here. 
in the uh, when it was Borders. Borders was a great shop. I love Borders. It was fantastic. Anyway, there we go. I might grab a croissant while I'm here. Actually, We're now heading up to the Law Hill where Bro has. Uh, a lot of pressure on me now. Yes, he says he wants to find some miniature heads or something. I don't know what he's, what he's on about, but he said he saw it in the paper last night. And um, we're looking for these Easter, it's like Easter Island heads, seemingly. Is that oh, what they're no, like? No, they're miniature. big, ma massive things. No, like. well, I'm, well, I'm expecting big, massive thumbnail size. Oh, no, surely not, bro. Yeah. Right. I can see the heads, bro. They're massive. <laughs> yes, look. Right, folks. So here we are. We have arrived at the uh, the Law Hill, where we're looking for these 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 head sculpture things that bro's been going through. Look at them here, bro. Look at the size of them. Yeah. Look at that. Look. This is um, this is what bros <laughs> found. Look, and there's, there's quite a few of them actually. Look, lying about. Look, there's quite a lot of them. Look, loads of them. So they're all. About them, yeah. Yeah, there's loads of them. So I don't know what this is all about. Weird. Oh, bro, what was it all about then? Well, we don't know because I couldn't. I'm not subscribed not to the Courier. Did you not do some research? Well, no, I'm not subscribed to the Courier website. So all you see is the headline and the picture, and that's all you get. You can't kind of. You type just into Google, I suppose. You have to pay kind of to subscribe, so it doesn't oh. pay. So there we have them. Yeah. Thanks, As I said, name the band. Name the band, folks. Can you think of a name of a band? There we go. And there's four of them. So. Robert uh, Kendall. I'm quite sure that means the city today, folks. Look at this. Wonderful. Some bridges. And then looking up towards birthday, folks, where we were supposed to be going to meet Mum today. It looks pretty stormy and horrible up there, I must admit. So, yeah. And I think there's a storm coming in, actually. Right, folks, well, I managed to glean some more information there uh, about these little <gasps> ceramic heads. Is that, um, I'm replace that? Is that there was a trail of them <coughs> and it led to the, the base of the, the monument there, and there was a, a sculpture of a foot uh, there, but the foot's gone. The foot has gone, folks, but gone. Um, that was a trail of these little faces. Left. So we still don't know who it is. Guerrilla artwork, it's been uh, sort of called. So I love stuff like this, I love it. So I've taken a wee memento. Actually, it looks a bit like bro, doesn't it? It, it looks, does actually, yes. Yeah. Uh, hello. Yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure. Did you see his last video? I'm not, I'm not sure. sure. There was something you said in your video, so I was going to put a comment on that. Oh, I forgot what yeah, it was good. now. I'm not sure. You're not sure what it was. <laughs> War of the Worlds, folks. Here it is. Right, so my next little stop on this little tour of Dundee is the Water Tower, folks. The, the Menzies Hill Water Tower. Was it Miggy's Hill? I don't know how they pronounce it. The Menzies Hill, Megas Hill Water Tower, that is right behind us. Now you can see this, we saw it from the lower hill, that's what I sort of thought, oh we can go there. So we've got here, and here it is, now unfortunately you can't get in to touch it folks, but this is the one that serves uh, the whole of the, this sort of area, the nine, oh it's getting very windy, I should have a micro ball out. But uh, yeah, there we go folks, look at this. Let's see, it looks like something like from War of the World, look at that. So this water tower serves the whole of the uh, surrounding area. There's another one not too far away as well. It's in uh, Clato, Clato, and um, so it's, the combined two of them serves the whole of Dundee, the Dundee area. And over here, folks, this used to be the old um, school, the Menzies Hill School, and uh, there was a world record set here for swimming. I think I think they swam about 25 miles or something back when the fords over the uh, distance. Over the uh, sorry, over the the uh, the period of a day or two. Uh, no, it can't be a day or two. Just a day, obviously. But um, yeah, so there's a world record set here. 
and uh, the school's been knocked down but they, I think they're going to try and redo it again this uh, this world record I'm not sure how they're going to do it folks but uh, anyway well, I'm probably trying to break in what's he doing Oh, he's trying to hide a badge. It's not just me, I'm here, I'm famous. Can I have a walk? Thank you very much. Look at you. Dad. Mary's Kitchen, where my, my, my photograph's up there on the, on the, the counter with its 10 out of 10 scone automark. Oh, it's nice scones, <laughs> my nice meat scones, and there's gross, horrific things. <laughs> Still tastes the same though. Fuck so, once again, there's the gadget of the day. That's, you have that egg timer kind of thing here, it turns itself over. So this is for weak tea, this one is for medium tea, and this one is for strong tea. So there we go, folks. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Toilets have got bits and bobs in the back. As I said, folks, look, I can't believe it's me, look. <laughs> there, there, there I am, it's me. Look, I'm here in the shop. So give it 10 out of 10, fantastic. Well, there we go. St. Mary, not if we say St. Mary's, not St. It's Mary's Kitchen Tea Room. So, definitely 10 out of 10 again, folks. I can't believe my photograph, my picture was in a frame there. Brilliant. Because I gave it 10 out of 10. So, um, bro, what, what are you saying about that? Yeah, I thought it was excellent. Uh, I love absolutely scone, wonderful. Scone cream jam. Oh, oh brilliant, man. I had one with cream and jam, and one with jam and cream. Right, okay, yes. And a mocha. Oh, it was just wonderful. Oh, the mocha, mocha was good, was it? Yes. It was 20 out of 20. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah. So, we're going back again. We've been invited back to have a full, a full, uh, three course sort of tiered plate thing, you know, with all the, the high tea. The high tea, what's tiered it called? Plate thing. Yeah. And the doilies and everything. So, we're looking, really looking forward to that one. So, folks, I definitely recommend you get yourselves down there to Mary's Tea Room and uh, go and try it for yourself. Homemade cooking, I love home baking and home cooking, man. So, oh, here comes the rain, here it comes. So we're gonna, so we're gonna, so we're gonna, so we're gonna, so we're gonna,